We're wanting to educate. We're wanting to empower. And then we're wanting to engage. But when you think about a substance use disorder, you can't necessarily see it as a disease or a choice. It's a disease of choice. It changes your very ability to make decisions. It actually alters your brain chemistry. And so we've got to keep that in mind when we're thinking about people who are attempting to get into recovery to separate themselves from drugs and alcohol. It's not just a matter of just stop, just quit. There's a lot more to it. I, just, I justified my substance use on the fact that they were prescribed by a doctor, even if they weren't prescribed to me. To the outside world, including my wife and close friends and family, I was just a normal guy. I worked hard, long days to provide for my family. I loved spending time with my kids. At the time, my wife and I even had date nights. I would do normal things just like everybody else. I'd go to church, I played softball, played fantasy football. I volunteered to help at the school, I served at my church, I served in the community. But I had this secret that I felt if I told anyone, I would just lose everything. Eventually, my substance use disorder became out of control when I added the use of methamphetamine to my opiate use. And that's when I lost my job, I lost my wife, my family, and my self-respect. I lost everything. Just by the words that you say in front of somebody can make them shut down and not even want to talk about what's going on with them. They're not going to want to reach out for help. So it's actually up to each and every one of us to be able to be there when somebody does want help. Stigma is stereotype. Stigma is prejudice. Stigma is discrimination. Stigma is being labeled for having a disease. It's being labeled for having a disease. And all the while, while I'm feeling stigmatized, I'm wondering, is my son okay? Does he have food? Is he alive? Currently, I do everything I can to talk about this ugly disease, this ugly disease of addiction, addiction substance use disorder. As until a person with substance use disorder is out of control, they can hide it extremely well from everyone, including the people they live with and especially those that they love the most. I have mentally and emotionally prepared myself that the next conversation I have to have with the with my children is that their dad is no longer alive or that he is in jail. But I will always hold on to the hope that the next conversation is that he is getting the help that he needs to make sure that he can spend time with them again. My hope is that having these difficult conversations, that we're able to break down the barriers that allow those who are struggling to get the help that they need, but also so families can get the help that they need. But as Johan Hari said in his book, Chasing the Scream, and I quote, the opposite of addiction is connection. The language that we choose to use has a direct and a deep impact on those around us. See, we can reduce stigma by changing the words we use to talk about this issue. We can use kind words we can make it easier for someone to speak up, to feel understood, and to receive help. <laughs>